Welcome back to Learning While Playing Crusader Kings 3. Now, last time we had the succession going on here. And we will pick right up where we left off, basically. I don't honestly remember. Sometimes it's a little bit between recordings. But we'll just play. I'll tell you what I do and why. And we'll see about it. Speed set to 3. Don't like to go higher. Let's have a quick check here on the issues that are in our realm. We are currently swaying someone. A marshal and knight. It's probably not the worst idea to do, but we definitely should work on our bishop as well. Eventually. Let's see. In line to inherit titles. Yes, those are our brothers, basically. But I'm not too concerned about it right now. It would help us in our power, but... You know. Gotta work that out without issues. We have a bunch of children. We have a daughter who is our heir. And our spy mistress. We have more daughters here. She is already married. Let's see. Um... I'm not sure if I checked before, but we, we want to see if we can't get a good alliance going. But I can already see these are just counties once again. The half-brother, steward and vassal. Uh, it would help getting some internal alliances going. Surely, that's not a problem. Maybe... Nah, it's fine. Uh, we'll give her a guardian, which already helps us. I'm not sure why this is sorted by health. Um, rank is fine. Let's see. Can we find our bishop here? There he is. So this helps us a little bit with the opinion there. Not too much, but a little bit anyway. He's a little bit angry. Short rain doesn't help us. It, this should update in a moment after we are unpaused. Sometimes the game takes a moment to realize changes have happened. But it appears might not have been enough. Giving him the niece doesn't help. Ah, did it? It did, did give something here. It'll take a bit to build up, it appears. Not sure what he's angry about, but I'm sure there's some reason. Now, we could declare wars, but um, the situation around us isn't ideal. Holy Wars, we can't really afford because we are not very strong. We could become part of the Kingdom of Georgia. But there is a distinct possibility that this goes wrong for us. Let's see... Do you have title revocation? Can I see this from here? It's a good question. Doesn't have claims on anything that is ours. So that's fairly decent as a starting point. If you consider f swearing fealty to someone. It would put us in a, in a bigger picture. I know I've considered this last time. Uh, we, we could also just attack here after building a Casas belly up. But, yeah, that's not ideal either. Could try and grab this bit here. And honestly, let's try. I'll just try and eat little tiny little bits around us. And potentially grow that way. We don't need to call for a hunt. It costs money. We are not stressed. So right now I'm not going to do it. This, by the way, is a recording before the last DLC, the tournament, tourism tournaments, comes out. So keep that in mind. It's not in this. But essentially, it'll remain more or less the same. So let's check our character anyway. Let's see what we're good at, where we should build. We're greedy. That's okay. We're humble. Temple buildings, construction, minus 15%. That's pretty 
major, honestly. Uh, let's check if in our temple here we could do something sensible with this. Don't have the money. And I also think we don't have the... Yeah, we don't have the culture technology. So it's not as useful to us as it could be. But that's okay. We are still building up our own hamlets here to increase our money flow. What else? We are cynical. Monthly piety is not that high for us. It's fine. And it kind of offsets the humble anyway, immediately. So we're an aggressive leader. And I think this man should personally lead our armies um, if we do go to war. Or when we do go to war. It's just probably a matter of time. There will be war again. Um, maybe maybe not in this ruler's lifetime. You never know. But being surrounded by foes and those that might look upon us with a certain level of greed. Yeah, there's a good chance. I mean, the big empires around us imploded, but they're still Khazaria. And they are quite expansionistic. So... We'll have to see how it works. Is our bishop... In yep, our bishop is good with us now. Thanks to taking care of the kids. So, he just needs to be plus one to endorse us. Why? Uh, the endorsement of the church is quite important for our money. Uh, if you can see here, the church holdings actually give us nothing. <laughs> Which doesn't help illustrate my point. Let's check our domain... Real quick. That feels weird and kind of not right. Um, hmm, where did I check this? The endorsement of the... Of the guy here. Plus zero out of possible 1.9 per month. Uh, okay, so... The higher this goes, the more of what we could get from him we do get. All right, we're trying to sway our marshal, and we'll talk about some ambition stuff. I picked this option just because it has the most green in it. The other one just kind of abandoned the whole thing, and our marshal now has a bit better opinion of us. But we'll go for, we'll abandon this now, and we'll sway our bishop. This has a fairly low success rate, but we'll still try. We have to increase this to get money flowing back into our coffers. In terms of manpower, doesn't really matter for us. The church never contributes all that much, militarily speaking. Are you at war, my friend? No. There are wars all around us, though. I mean, we have a good claim here. We're just way, way, way too weak to press it. And we are also not allowed uh, in terms of prestige. Let's see. I'm just shopping around for some more of them. You never know what you might find. Again, Holy Wars are just not ideal. Oh, but, I mean, no, still not ideal. He had a rulership change, so all the alliances are null and void that he had before. But it really doesn't matter all that much because we don't have any competent claims to go for that at the moment. But it would be nice to get something there, but if we go to a holy war, they are likely to join in here. So that's not good. Oh, the Khan lost the war against the High Chief of Kiev. Congratulations. That's some impressive feat. Our daughter has learned Greek through observation. Well done, you. I'm always curious to see if, if I see armies on the march. 
You can find out where they're going or who they're at war with by basically checking this here. And they are fighting a war with this here down there. Still not much smarter about it. This vassal of this guy is attacking here. And these allies are helping. So he's trying to expand south. Is it? Wait, is it? Is it a holy war? Let's check. Yeah, it's a holy war. So him waging a holy war already could help us by drawing away potential defenders. So you know what? We're going to go for a holy war as well. And we'll take, let's take a quick consideration of the lands here. There currently isn't an economic view that would help us much. Uh, they're going to implement this soon, I, appeal, uh, I think. But let's check this here. Okay, so this is not ideal. Then this is, isn't developed at all, basically. This whole region here. So I'm looking at these numbers and I want to see taxes. That's where we want 1.57, 1. one point. It kind of comes down to more or less the same. This one is slightly better than this one, but only ever so slightly. Coastal areas have the advantages. So it, well, it doesn't matter all that much what we take. Let's just take what's close and we'll see. Oh no, he has an alliance up now. Where is he? Where is this man you are allied with? Oh, okay, here. He'll never arrive in time to make a difference. We'll have defeated him by then. Okay, so this is dangerous. Ashariism. Oh, that might not actually be all that often around here. Let's check religion. Okay. <laughs> what did I just say? Forget what I said. That's crazy. That is crazy. I mean, we'll try. We'll try. He is a warrior. That's that's his code. That's who we are at the moment. We could cut this off to prevent... Yeah, we'll cut them off. I think we'll do that. We'll, we'll cut the south. Um, this would help us against conquest, casas bellies and stuff. Uh, so they can't just walk in here and try and take it. We envelop them and the likelihood of others getting claims against them are reduced. So we will try and take uh, Mugan. Mainly because we would like to absorb the rest in the future. And we'll just we'll just try. We'll raise all our armies. And get our ears blown out by the music. We are leading. And we might capture, catch them here. Okay, we have a bit of problem because the Tahirid decided to join. And they are closer than the other ally. We'll have to see how that goes. And it goes very badly because they chose to come by sea. Uh, so we are definitely not in any way, shape or form capable of doing this ourselves. How many troops you have? 
How many troops do you have? Oh boy. Um, they are not gonna come either. So, yeah, I got us in a bad war here. We might still win it if the enemy doesn't decide to attack us, but they're likely to do so. So, we'll attack them. It's it's not. Yeah, it's all kind of suboptimal right now. Let's see if we can't get an alliance with them in some way, shape, or form. Do you want my daughter? No. No. Well, that's... that's bad. That's very bad. These are all internal. Oh boy. Ah. <laughs> We are nowhere near a white peace offer, so this this might go real bad for us. Real bad. Now, another thing we could look into is mercenaries. Sadly, there isn't a holy order yet, which we could get for us. And we assuredly don't have the money to get these boys. And there's no way for us to get money quickly. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to get crushed... By this army here. I don't I don't I don't see us. This is planes, this is planes. Why is everything here planes? This is not good for us. Okay, uh we get a claim here. Good stuff. But you can see that we are likely to be losing here. We're defending a river crossing, we have some defensive buildings. But they have more soldiers, higher quality, and men, uh, more men at arms that would counter ours. So, let's have a little read on what happens if we surrender. Um, some opinion losses, and we pay some money. And factions get 25 discontent. Let's see what happens in this battle. Oh, it's uh, it just became a little bit equal. Ah, uh, no, we are losing heavily. And I think we also got wounded. It looks like it anyway. But we got our perk here. So we'll go for strategist. Yeah, we have become wounded in battle. Ah, well, I mean, we tried, right? All right. Uh, we'll surrender at this point. It's no point in drawing this out because the longer it takes, the higher the cost becomes. We are now in debt. Uh, we will disband our armies the second they are done running away for their lives. Uh, yes, we are in debt. I know. We'll be out of debt soon enough once we get to disband our troops here. This will help us tremendously. Well, it's just a big shame, but that's... The risks you take with Holy Wars. Basically, as I said. And we have proven ourselves to be weak at the moment. We are getting some more money again. So this helps. So I'm expecting to be attacked now, basically. That's what I'm expecting to happen here. We can't declare war while we're in debt. So we can't press this claim, which we just got. Oh, we'll see. Oh. Um, our princess got some major... Being wounded sucks for the moment, but it might lead to us being scarred, which sucks much less <laughs> once we are. Uh, can we try and seduce our beloved wife or romancer? I think that stops the swaying plot. Let's finish the swaying plot. Then we go try and seduce our wife or romancer, brother. Okay, we need a marshal. And we have a bunch of options here, none of which are all that great. We'll go with the powerful vassal who wants this job. 
And let's check the factions. What's going on here? So you want to press for the Principality of Georgia. And they will be able to send an ultimatum soon. Uh, our half-sister wishes to get our half-brother on that throne. So what we could do here... And I think we might just... Let's check this. Engine marriage. Take our... Uh, can we take our granddaughter for that? No. Well, there's nothing here to get an alliance going anyway. We can just sit the faction out and wait. Uh, they are now below the threshold again. And it will keep going down if we don't get ourselves into debt again. We definitely need to build up our money supply. The reason why we're earning less than we did just now uh, is because now that we do have money again, our our troops, our men at arms are being resupplied. So that's taking a good chunk of our income until those are back to their full level. And then we can see further. We definitely can't declare war while we are this close to being poor. We need a good buffer. The main reason we lost so much money in that war was due to having to pay for losing. For having to surrender. Okay, so uh, the bishop isn't swayed. We will abandon our attempt. And instead go and romance our wife. Ah, 0% chance. Um, wow, okay, that's bad. 5% chance. That's not all that great either. Um... So, with our own daughter, just... I'm, I'm showing this only to be confused together with you. I'm not trying to do this. But if we were to seduce our daughter, we would have a 70% chance to make that a thing happen. Not just seduce, but romance her. Um, whereas our own wife trying to do the same there, that, that, that wouldn't work out. Okay, very good. But... Let's look at the faction again. Our half sister here can't request. Okay, she's she's too far away. Let's offer him guardianship for something. Can't negotiate an alliance because he is a claim mount. Would you like? Do I even have a kid to? No. I don't. I don't have a kid to give guardianship away for. Ah well. That's fine. I feel like I'm being a little bit disjointed today. That's fine. Oh, very good. We can ask our head of faith for some money, which we'll absolutely do. Please, money. Thank you. The terracotta fowl toy has some loader ability. We shall reforge it with the money from the church. Boy, that is always loud. Uh, thank you. He hates us. We lost some piety. Who cares? We have few knights. Now, that is actually a problem. Uh, everyone with a high number here gets forced. I don't think we have any prisoners we could press into service, but we'll check. You. Are you a capable knight? Uh, I mean, not too bad. Let's see. Recruit. Convert. Now, this man will be a knight for us. Um, that helps a little bit. He will absolutely be forced. I mean, he's not the best, but... He's a gracious lackey, so hopefully he'll eventually get over being imprisoned. Forcibly recruited, demanded... His conversion and lowering his cultural acceptance. So, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. But that's a good way to get some knights going. Wage some war, get some prisoners, press them into your service. 
Oh, we have another granddaughter. There's a lot of daughters going on in our realm. Let's get them something good. Let's get them a matrilineal match here. Yeah, I mean, not, why not with our half-brother, right? That's perfectly fine. So we get the internal alliance. That'll help us a bit. And now we are out of debt. We are a little bit safer. We can go press this claim here. And we will once again lead our armies from over here. And hopefully we'll do a little bit better against this significantly smaller force, but you'll never know until you tried. Our wife is pregnant, so there's a chance for an actual heir. Which sounds really mean, but female... Excuse me, what is this? Okay, so... Right, we are fighting against someone who has, who has 300 men. Suddenly there are 900. Let's try and figure out what's going on together. Are these his troops? They have the flag. So looking here, she just got mercenaries 709 to be precise. So this might not work in our favor either. But right now it's it's going our way. Barely, but it is. Yeah, that that was a victory far closer than it should have been. And immediately the faction sprangs up again because we are weakening ourselves, losing troops on the battlefield. That's... Oh no. Uh, I know it's just a game, but it always hits me a little bit. Uh, so our wife, sadly, is no longer pregnant. Maybe we can manage to finish the siege before the army returns, attacking us. But we definitely should look into making our men-at-arms a little bit stronger as well. Think some more bowmen would be nice. I wonder if we can afford it. I mean, we can, but maybe wait. Maybe we wait until this war is done. So, how did we not know that she would have mercenaries? You don't really see until they buy them. But looking at their finances, you generally can tell if they will be able to. Um, and we didn't check that. Or I didn't check that. I'm just using the royal we here because we are, after all... Rulers to our own rights right here. Now, something to notice here. You have these three little silver dots against these two little copper dots. This denotes the quality of the army. A smaller sized but higher quality army can potentially beat a larger but lower quality army. Oh, we have inherited a bunch here. Um, someone died. Okay, so that's that's okay. Guards drafted for Levy. Okay, uh, something bad happened there. Our council position for Stuart is open as well. That's sad. We'll take our knight to fill that position. He's very skillful, but he doesn't like us all that much. All right, we have one the war and we will immediately go ahead and enforce the demands. I don't even want to see the battle resolve because something bad in the battle might still happen. Now, lots of things are happening at once. We we inherited these things here from someone, uh, but we also captured this right now, which is new for us. We now hold more than our domain limit allows us for. You can see it over here. 
This will lower vassal opinion, will cause a whole bunch of problems and lower our income, lower how much levies we can have and all kind of stuff. It's, it's all pretty bad. What we're going to do is we're going to give away Ar Archabis to someone else to rule over. Generally, I like to do the thing that happens in succession anyway. We'll check our succession. See what titles we're going to lose. And maybe we're going to lose this anyway. Yes. So our daughter here, she, she will inherit this anyway. So we'll simply check her, give her a spouse before we give her uh, her own holdings. Uh, why would we do that? Because we want to make sure that she can give it down her line later on. We definitely want her matrilineally and we don't care for alliance power in this case. We just want her to be able to get um, children in our own line because if we gave her there was a duke right there as an option to marry away for but if we gave her that just for the alliance power there's a chance that this duke from outside of realm would inherit her title and that's not ideal so what we're gonna do is we find someone here uh, who isn't all that great but also not too bad for example our knight um, he's a lowborn he's Armenian it's good enough for me. He's a bit sadistic. That's not ideal. Would like to give my daughter someone who isn't sadistic. There are some smaller alliances possible here. We could also take someone who has a who has a good bunch of claims, like this guy here, our brother-in-law. He has a whole bunch of uh, claims over in Greece, and we could then become capable of pressing those claims for him, going to war to get this stuff. So that's a pretty good match, I would say. Uh, so we'll take this. And once that's confirmed... There we go. It's confirmed. We give her this title. Which she would inherit anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, I don't think I can, actually. Yeah. I can't give it to women. Uh, right. So we'll have to figure something else out. Another thing we could try is take our wife and switch her focus over to manage domain. Because our rulership, stewardship level decides how much this is. So we might get to 5 out of 5. So let's try. And indeed it helped. So now we can have the 5 without any penalty. That's very good. So we'll keep it like this for the moment. And... We still have our new potential son-in-law over here. So this should open us up a bunch of new wars that we could potentially fight. And he has a whole lot of things uh, that we can press any time. So let's... All the golden ones are gonna be inherited. So we have a... If they have children, we have a good long line of potential... Uh, of potential claims here over in Greece. They're fairly far away, uh, mind you, but once they're married, right now we can't press the claim, sadly, for him. Like, we can't go and... Uh, because He's not in our court at the moment. Once they are married, he will come to our court and then we might be able to. It's not too far away, like four more years. So that's interesting enough. We don't want to hunt. I wanted to click on this. I said we want to go... Oh, I'm sure. I think the stalwart leader. The reason is he should be leading our battles. Because of his martial skill and his prowess. So we're gonna go into that. And uh, the first point here in the gallant tree. Reduces the risk of commanding armies may challenge. It gives us a few other things. But reducing the risk of commanding armies. That's like the most important bit that we can get out of the street. Even if you don't go further down here if you have a ruler that you would like to send into battle this is a good point to have anyway so uh i'll leave it here for today thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed if you've got any questions leave them down in the comments if you liked it leave a like if you didn't like it well leave a dis dislike 
Hope to see you around next time. Until then, have a great day, evening, whatever it is for you. Bye-bye.